You're not concerned then with your own voice on those re on those recordings? My voice was fine. What did I say wrong on those recordings? I didn't even see the recording. All I know is I did nothing wrong. We had a lot of papers, a lot of papers stacked up. Mm -hmm. In fact, you could hear the rustle of the paper, and nobody said I did anything wrong other than the fake news, which of course is Fox, too. Are there any other recordings that we should be concerned of? Uh, I don't know of any recordings that you should be re, uh, concerned with because I don't do things wrong. I do things right. I'm a legitimate person. I'm Here's Trump claiming his innocence with the same look that a nine-year-old has when he was the only one home and suddenly a glass vase shatters. I mean, look at his face. I've seen people walking out of the SATs for the fifth time with more confidence than Donald Trump has in this clip. Now, in case you haven't seen the actual recording, here you go. Bad, sick people. That, but, was, that was your coup, you know, the, against you. That's well, it started they, right at the like beginning. Like when Millie's talking about, oh, you were going to try to do a coup. No, they, they were trying right. to do that before you even were sworn in. That's right. Millie, trying to overthrow yeah. your election. Well, with Millie, uh, let me see that. I'll, I'll show you an example. He said that I wanted to attack Iran. Isn't it amazing? I have a big pile of papers. This thing just came up. Look. This was him. They presented me this. This is off the record, but they presented me this. This was him. This was the Defense Department and him. Wow. We looked at some. This was him. This wasn't done by me. This was him. Yeah. All sorts of stuff. It's pages long. Look. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let's see here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just found, isn't that amazing? This totally wins my case, you know. Mm -hmm. Except it is like highly confidential, yeah. <laughs> secret. This is secret information. Yeah. But look, look at this. You attack, and Hillary would print that out all the time. You know, <laughs> it, no, she'd send it to yeah. Anthony Weiner, yeah, yeah. the pervert. Um, by the way, isn't that incredible? Though? Yeah. I was just saying because we were talking about it, <laughs> and you know, he said he wanted to attack Iran and what? And he said you the did. Wow. This was done by the military, given to me. Uh, I think we can probably, right? I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. Yeah, we'll have to try to declassify. figure out a, a yeah. See, as president, I could have declassified yeah. it. Now I can't, you know, but this is yeah, classified. Now we have a problem. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. It's so yeah. cool. I mean, it's so, I'm, look, we here and I have, and you probably almost didn't believe me, but now you believe me. No, it's, I believe it's you. It's incredible. Right? No, they, hey, bring they some, uh, bring some cokes in, please. Yeah, not great if your ultimate goal is to avoid conviction. Now, in terms of Trump's response in the initial clip of this video, he starts off by saying, my voice was fine, I didn't even see the recording. The way you can tell he knows he's screwed is because all of the brain cells have apparently fallen out of his head. I'm pretty sure the reporter wasn't asking about his voice on the vi recording because he thought that there was something wrong with it. I'm pretty sure he was asking about the content of what Trump was saying. And apparently, Trump didn't quote, see the recording, which makes sense, what with it being a recording, so there's not much to see. And I wouldn't normally parse words like this, but either Trump is suddenly operating at a second grade comprehension level, or he's a bit flustered because he knows he's been caught. I'll let you be the judge of that one. Trump then goes on to say that he had a lot of paper stacked up and that you could even hear the rustle of the paper and nobody said he did anything wrong. First of all, the rustling of paper is precisely the problem. Those papers were classified, so when he was rustling them, it is because he had them, which is the illegal part. And I'm sorry, but nobody said he did anything wrong? Meaning, on that recording? What, is everything perfectly legal unless the person directly in front of you says it's not? It doesn't matter if Trump was in front of 10,000 people and no one said anything, it doesn't make it suddenly legal just because no one threw a flag on the play. And Trump will make the argument that there were lots of papers and so that's what he was rustling around, not the classified documents. To that, I would focus your attention yet again on the recording. Yeah. <laughs> I just found, isn't that amazing? This totally wins my case, you know. Mm -hmm. Except it is like highly confidential yeah. <laughs> secret. This is secret information. Yeah. But look, look at this. You attack. I just found it. This totally wins my case. Except it is like 
highly confidential. This is secret information, look at this. So if Trump's argument is that there were plenty of papers and definitely totally not the classified ones, that might have held just a little bit more weight if he didn't narrate his crime like the guy was trying to get caught. And of course, this wasn't the only excuse he peddled out. In an interview with Semaphore and ABC News, Trump said, I would say it was bravado if you want to know the truth. It was bravado. I was talking and just holding up papers and talking about them, but I had no documents. I didn't have any documents. When Donald Trump, the king of never giving a single inch, concedes that he was being overly boastful, you know he's screwed. This is a guy who has never once shown even a shred of humility, and now all of a sudden he's conceding that he was being too proud? Sometimes it's what's between the lines that says the most. Trump would also take the truth social as part of this dissembling, writing, the deranged special prosecutor Jack Smith, working in conjunction with the DOJ and FBI, illegally leaked and spun a tape and transcripts of me, which is actually an exoneration rather than what they would have you believe. This continuing witch hunt is another election interference scam. They are cheaters and thugs. First of all, I thought Trump just declared that he'd never seen the recordings, so it certainly is weird that he'd already posted a response to the recording on Truth Social. And second, I'm sorry, Jack Smith spun a tape? How exactly did he spin the tape? It was a straight audio recording of Donald Trump. Is Trump suggesting that the tape was doctored because he knows it's incriminating? In fact, in the same sentence, Trump says that the tape that was spun also exonerated him. So which is it? Was it doctored to hurt him and therefore fake? Or was it real and exonerated him? Because I'm having trouble keeping all of these lies in order and his sentences are contradicting themselves pretty blatantly here. It's almost like, and I hope you're sitting down for this, he knows he's full of shit and he's just dissembling at this point. Even Trump's spokespeople got in on the desperate excuse making. Quote, the audio tape provides context proving, once again, that President Trump did nothing wrong at all. The president is speaking rhetorically and also quite humorously about a very perverted individual, Anthony Weiner, who is deep inside the corrupt Clinton campaign. The media and Trump haters once again were all too willing to take the bait, falling for another Democrat DOJ hoax, hook, line, and sinker. First of all, it provides context proving that Trump did nothing wrong. How? He was rummaging through papers on that recording while quite literally talking about how they were classified. Second, this was about Anthony Weiner now? Anthony Weiner is why Trump admitted that he was looking at classified material? And finally, a Democrat DOJ hoax. This case is being overseen by Jack Smith, who was the chief prosecutor at The Hague, where he was investigating war crimes in Kosovo. The notion that this guy is some partisan Democrat is a joke. Almost as much of a joke as this idea that our nation's law enforcement agencies are just leftist melting pots. There has literally never been a Democrat confirmed director of the FBI. So please, let us dispel of this notion that these agencies are just communist breeding grounds. So look, clearly these excuses are all over the place, clearly they all contradict each other, and clearly they make no sense on their face. This is per usual the desperate grasping at straws that you expect from a guy who just got caught on an audio recording admitting to having committed a crime for which he's now on trial. And frankly, if anything, these desperate excuses only serve to help the argument that he's guilty, because if he was actually innocent, he'd have a clear argument as to why. But when you get this frenetic smattering of excuses and these errant synapses firing, well that paints a different picture. This is one of those instances where Trump would actually be well served to employ his right to stay silent. But then again, that's how he got himself into this mess in the first place. And if he hasn't learned by now, well, he likely never will. Before you go, I need some help. Please subscribe to the channel and do your part to help grow the progressive media ecosystem. I don't do sponsorships or paid ads, I won't ask for money, but just subscribing to this channel goes a really long way and it helps get the message out to more people. The subscribe button is right here on the screen. You can also subscribe to my Spanish language channel, which I made to reach those crucial Spanish speaking voters. That link is on the screen too. And finally, if you want to listen to my audio podcast, you can follow that link as well. Thanks so much for watching.